Let me show you how to make lime cordial, an indispensable element in the home bar, useful for making cocktails, shots and non-alcoholic drinks. Right now on Dr. Cork. The word cordial has several meanings, but as far as cocktails are concerned, cordial is essentially a sour sweet syrup that can be made not only from limes, but also for example from elderflowers. But it is always sour and sweet. Cordials are handy because you can mix strong alcohol with them and get cocktails straight away, without having to squeeze the juice from a lime or a lemon and adding syrup separately. There are commercial cordials, the most famous being Rose's Lime Cordial, and that's what I'm going to imitate today. I'm going to use a recipe from Jeffrey Morgan Taller, a famous bartender from Portland, Oregon. So let's get to making the Lime Cordial. If you have a lot of time to infuse cordial for a week, you can do that as well, but Jeffrey suggests a faster and more convenient method using a blender, so that's what we're going to do. Measure 250 grams of regular white sugar and pour it directly to the glass of the blender. Then pour 240 milliliters or about 8 ounces of hot water over the sugar. It doesn't have to be boiling water, but just warm water. The sugar will dissolve in it anyway. Then take a nice fresh large lime, or two worse less fresh limes, and grate its zest on a fine grater. Try to grate only the green part of the zest, because this white albedo or pith is too bitter, we don't want that. In the end, we need to get 1.5 ounce or 45 milliliters of lime zest by volume. This recipe is designed specifically for bartenders who may not have an accurate scale handy, but a 1.5 ounce jigger should always be by your side. Although, of course, it would be more accurate to measure everything by weight. Put the grated zest in the blender and then squeeze the juice out of this lime. There's a little trick to squeeze more juice from limes. If you are using a squeezer like mine, you have to cut the lime crosswise like that. That way you get more juice. You're gonna need about 1.5 ounce or 45 milliliters of lime juice. And the last thing you're gonna need is citric acid. You can buy it at any supermarket and we need 1 ounce or 30 milliliters, again by volume. Add citric acid to the blender, close it and now it's time to blend. It only takes 30 seconds and while I'm blending you can like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you want to support what I'm doing, subscribe to my Patreon or join membership on YouTube. And now it's time to strain what we've blended using a fine strainer, two strainers to be exact, to filter out the liquid. The first strainer is the coarser one and after it goes a very fine mesh strainer to make our cordial completely clean. If you want to filter even better and make the cordial almost transparent, you can use a paper filter for coffee, but I'm not going to bother. When the cordial is filtered, you can use it right away or you can put it in the fridge and store it in there for at least a month. Since both sugar and citric acid are preservatives, it shouldn't go bad, but as always with homemade stuff, it's better to check it from time to time. Mwah. And this is how you make homemade lime cordial. Now, as I promised, let's make us some gimlet. Now that we have a pre-made cordial, it is as easy as it can be. To the shaker pour gin, 2 ounces, 60 milliliters, and the same amount of our homemade lime cordial. Fill the shaker with ice and shake it vigorously, dedicating the shake to this comment. Fine strain to the cocktail glass, although a fine strainer is not even necessary since we are using cordial rather than freshly squeezed lime juice. Garnish with a fresh lime peel. And this is how you make the Gimlet, a refreshing and tangy classical cocktail. Gin gives it botanical flavors, including juniper, herbs, spices, and makes the taste more complex. And our lime cordial adds a bright, tart and zesty element to the cocktail while adding acidity and sweetness. Of course, the balance of sweetness and acidity can be adjusted according to your personal preference and depending on your choice of gin, but to me it's perfect. A delightful balance between the botanical richness of gin and the zingy freshness of lime. Perfecto! Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. You can see other videos with homemade recipes in the corresponding playlist. The text recipe of Cordial and Gimlet can be found on my website dr-cork.com. The link is in the description to this video. Tell me in the comments what else you'd like me to make. Drink responsibly and as always, dosidos!